South Korea and Japan held working level talks in Tokyo this Tuesday, the first meeting since last year's landmark agreement on the issue of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. Kwon Soa reports. South Korea and Japan convened for working level talks in Tokyo on Tuesday, their first meeting since they came to an agreement on the so called comfort women issue last year. According to Seoul's foreign ministry, in their 13th round of talks, the two sides discussed follow-up measures on the December 28th deal on Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women before and during World War II. The meeting was led by the foreign ministry's newly appointed Director General for Northeast Asian Affairs, Chong byung won and his Japanese counterpart, Kimihiro Ishikane. One of the main topics that were likely to have been discussed was the creation of a foundation with an endowment of 1 billion yen or 8.9 million U.S. dollars through which the Japanese government will compensate the Korean victims. The establishment of the foundation is currently progressing well with all those involved, including the Ministry of Gender, Equality and Family. Meanwhile, a UN panel on human rights issues in Geneva on Monday praised Seoul and Tokyo's recent agreement, saying Japan has made significant steps toward apologizing and taking responsibility for the issue. The UN Human Rights Committee also pointed out, however, that Japan isn't doing enough to investigate its past human rights violations and prosecute those responsible. This amid reports Tokyo is denying its military's forced recruitment of women. It submitted a report to a UN committee last month saying Japan is unable to confirm evidence of coercion. It took more than two decades for South Korea and Japan to come to an agreement on the comfort women issue. 46 victims were alive when the deal was struck in December. Less than three months later, 44. Reflecting the urgency of the situation. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.